and welcome again. In today's video, I am going to show you how to prepare a dynamic Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel. This is a small high-level schedule for a project. You can use this template for your weekly look-ahead plan and phases of the project that contain small number of activities. In here, for example, if I update anything in this schedule, the dynamic Gantt chart should move as well. For example, let's make the duration of our first activity 5 days. Or maybe let's decrease it to 1 day. Besides that, the activities which are linked to each other, for example, let's decrease duration of this activity to 2 days. As you can see, the whole Gantt chart is going to move left and right. Let's get started and let me show you how to prepare a dynamic Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel. In here, we have the activity ID, the activity description, the start date, end date, and duration. For the start date, we will assume that our project starts today, which is 22nd of June 2022. So I'll write down 22nd of June 2022. Next thing is the end date. The end date for this activity should be the start date plus the duration minus one day. In here, if you add any duration, for example, two days for this activity, as you can see, the activity will start in the morning of 22nd June and will finish at the evening of 23rd June, which will be two working days. That's why I deducted the number one in this formula here. I will assume that our activities are finished to start, which means that once this activity is completed, the next activity or the successor activity will begin. In order to achieve that purpose, I will write in the start of this activity, this date plus 1. So once this activity is completed, the next day this activity will begin. And the same formula will be applied for the end date. So what I will do is drag this down up to the last activity, and besides that, drag this down up to the last activity. Now once I add the durations to them, for example, let's make 3 days for this one, 1 day for this one, 2 for this, 5 for this, and 3 for this, 1 for this, the start dates and end dates will be adjusted automatically. Next thing is to add the dates on the Gantt chart area here. For this one, I'll write down the first date in here, 22nd of June 2022. So I'll write down the date here. and. I will drag this date up to the last cell in here and next thing is to rotate these dates. I'll right click on the selection and go to format cells in the alignment here I'll rotate it to 90 degrees. I'll click OK. This is the last and the most tricky stage that we are going to go through which is preparing the dynamic Gantt chart. To do that in the first cell here I'll write down equal sign F and the value in this cell we will lock the row number in here because when we drag this value down the row should not move. If this value is greater or equal to the value in this cell I will lock the column for this one because when we drag it to the right so the column should not move comma we will write down our next condition the value in the same cell again we will lock the row is smaller or equal to the value in this cell again we will lock the column I'll close the parenthesis if this condition is true then write down X if it's false then leave that cell blank I'll close the parenthesis so the letter X will appear in here. I'll select this cell again, drag this to the down here, so the condition is applied on all the cells. Next is to take it to the end of our Gantt chart. The last thing in here is we will use the same selection to do conditional formatting. We will go to highlight cells rules and go to equal to. If the value in the cells equals to X, then in here we will do a custom format. From the fill, we will select a color and from the font, we will select the same color for our font and we'll click OK. If you increase the number of working days for specific activities, for example, let's make this 5, the Gantt chart will be updated as well. 
I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages for more useful content about project management. Thank you very much for watching.